Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Um, for those of you who don't know or are new to the channel, my name is Paul. Uh, I'm the owner of Mr. Post Frame. Today's show, we are going to wrap up a couple small details. Uh, the bottom 2x4 girt that we put in, we're going to block in the doors and windows, uh, wrap the house, and then we are going to install doors and windows. Um, for those of you who don't know, we have a Patreon um, that's uh, directed towards people who want to self-build. You can check that out on Patreon. Um, it's a great resource. Uh, and if you're going to self-build, it's something you're going to want to follow. We cover different topics and allow you guys to ask questions. So check that out. But let's go ahead and get started in today's video. So we got all the window and door uh, framed up and on all the windows um, we have a video actually on how to do this we'll leave a little uh, thing in the uh, screen right now for that but we always put a three degree slant on the bottom sill of the window and that is so if the window is ever to fail the water would hit that and it would go out over the house wrap down the side and escape without damaging any wood but again, you can check that video out um, to see exactly how we do that. A couple things uh, we finished up before wrapping the house was the bottom girt, which is we typically put a 2x4 in halfway between the wainscoting um, girt and the grade board. And that is uh, one, that's a pretty big gap, so I like to add that in there just for extra strength, but also any outside electrical outlets, water spigots, anything like that can attach there. And uh, another thing that we had to finish up was blocking we got to block around all of the garage doors all the windows and that's the space between the girts we got to block that in uh, on both sides that way we have plenty of room to attach all of our trims and steel to all right guys we're uh, adding our adding our last girt across here and that's just so we can attach our FJ trim so that our soft can come across and die. So we just take a level. This one's actually a little short, but we just take a level, put it on the front of our face board, run it across, and then we know where uh, the top of our board needs to be. Snap a line for our FJ. Let's head to the 
other side. If you're by yourself and you're trying to put up a 16 foot board, I just measure down where the bottom of my board is gonna be. Put a screw a little bit in it and I can just rest the end of the board on that screw. All right, guys, a little house uh, wrap trick. Just take a board, the height of your house wrap, line the marks up on one side, which I've done at the top and bottom. Wrap it over, staple it to it, and then you can square this two by four up on the corner of the building, which will hold your uh, house wrap in place and help you stay square as you get started. All right, guys, we can see we got most of these windows installed, which is pretty exciting, but um, we'll just go through the steps quick. So um, when we put our house wrap on, we've showed you how we fold the sides in, staple it, the bottom in, staple it, and then we roll the top up above the window. So we put silicone down both sides and across the top. We get our window in there, we plumb it, square it, make sure it's centered, and uh, 
just really solid. You want to make sure it's uh, plumb and square. If it's not, you're going to have problems. These are really, really nice windows, so they're really, really easy to install. Um, I find that the cheaper the window you get, the harder it is to install. So once we get it in there, we square it up, get it all screwed in there, and then we will um, roll the Tyvek down over the top, tape it to the uh, nailing flange. Then we will run our window tape up the sides, across the top, and then we'll go one step further and use blo the blocket tape to tape the window tape to the blocket. Um, it's just an extra step that we like to do. Um, we leave the bottom uh, with no silicone in it. Um, in this case, I just put tape over all the screws um, just to keep uh, any a lot of wind from getting in there. Um, but that allows, if your window ever fails, for that slanted sill to uh, shed the water out and over the tie back and down. Alright guys, real quick, step by step, installing exterior doors on a post frame. Step one, make sure you have is square and plumb opening as possible. Step two, get your door, test fit it, make sure that your rough opening's good. Step three, check your, um, in this case, we're mounting this on a grade board, make sure that that is level. If it's not level, get it perfectly level, that'll help you on later on. Um, next thing, put your silicone on, slide your door in. Once your door is in, you want to start by screwing your jam side in. I always pick either the top or the bottom. I take a little screw out and run a big screw in through the hinge and then work my way down or up the door, plumbing this side of the door. Keep in mind when you do that, it might move the bottom of the door, so you need to keep checking the sill plate to make sure it is still level. Once you get your hinge side uh, plumb and your bottom sill is still level, you can come over here and shim your uh, lock side. I always put screws above and below the lock at the bottom, top, and sometimes uh, in the middle, depending on the door. Um, Start at either the top or the bottom and work your way down. And all you're gonna do when you do that, your door is already plumbed, just match the reveal all the way down. So I start at the top, put a shim in, close door, make sure it looks good, put a screw in. Next shim, close door, make sure it looks good, put a screw in all the way down. Once you've completed those steps, you're, uh, you wanna check to make sure your door opens and closes properly, that the reveals are all even. And if you are having trouble your door is not square, you're uh, not plumb, or your bottom's not level. All those things work together. So if you're having trouble, you have to get those things worked out. So just a re quick recap, make sure you're mounting your door on a level surface and that you plumb your hinge side first, screw through the hinges, that'll really add some strength to it, then come to your lock side. Right, guys that's gonna be a wrap on today's show if any of you are interested in designing your own home reach out reach out to us at design at mr post frame we have a partnership with ap home design she does all of our home designs all of our building designs uh, she's awesome to work with so if you guys are interested reach out to us design and mr post frame and as always thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video